guys. So, I had a real crave of pancakes today, and I was like, well, why don't I film it and make the video? So, I did grab a recipe of taste, just basic pancakes, but my friends decided to be funny, so I can't read this. <laughs> So I recopied it just onto plain piece of paper like this so I can read that. So yeah, I thought we would make some different varieties of pancakes today too. So we'll be splitting whatever batter we have into four, I think. I think four will be enough. Alright, so this recipe calls for one and a half cups of milk, one egg. Uh, two tablespoons, teaspoons sorry, of vanilla extract, two cups of self-raising flour, a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarb soda, a third of a cup of caster sugar, and butter. So I've also got a few other things in here which I will show you in a minute. Alright, so the first thing it says here to do is whisk the milk, egg and vanilla together in a jug. So I've grabbed myself a jug, so this is the one cup. Oh, I miss the rain. This is going to be a great day. One and a half. Fish. So the egg. I've had such bad luck with eggs lately. It literally would not break. It was incredibly tough to break. And two teaspoons of vanilla extract.
Well, it's actually right at the end of the month, so I'll save a month, but when this goes up, it'll be the first week of the month. And yeah, I was like, I think I'm just gonna do a cooking video every month. But this is looking quite good. I don't know if you can see that up there. I plan on splitting this up into four and making like different types of things that you can do with it. So that is all mixed together. Alright, so these are the different mixtures. That's just the plain one, which we're going to do all different toppings on. We have our bluey green aquarium colour. We have our chocolate chip one, which looks really nice and I'm excited for. 
and our golden stew, one. So I'm going to move you over to this side and we're going to cook them. Alright, so I've moved you to probably the darkest corner of our house <laughs> so that we can cook these. Alright, so we've got our butter um, that we used to fix that. So I'm not sure which ones we're going to do first yet. So I have put this one and I'll put on a little bit of butter to spread it around. I am using this one. It's incredibly thin and small. But I used a good one the other day and I haven't washed it yet. Yesterday, not the other day. So yeah, that's about all we've got. <laughs> right, so the first thing is in there. Now the recipe usually says three to four minutes and then flip it over. But if you start seeing like lots of bubbles appear, that's usually a good time to think about it as well. The first pancake is always the one that takes the longest um, and it's usually the dud pancake. It always comes out a little bit funny. That's what they say about kids too, but I don't know. I was the first and only and it turned out great. Okay, so when this uploads, I will be at can dance actually with our six and a half hour rehearsal. <laughs> um, Alright. Pancake is ready on this side. Whoops, apart from that corner. But shove it under and flip it over. Oh, I used to be really good at flipping pancakes. Um, haven't done it for a very long time. So, what I might do is I might wait for these to start cooking a bit quicker and then I'll start flipping them. Go, first one, bits are broken off. But yeah, can't really tilt it anymore, otherwise it will fall down. But there's the first one, and yeah, two little bits broke off, so I'll just put them on the plate too. It's always the first one that takes forever, but then the, the other ones just seem to speed up and move alongside. <laughs> Pancakes are so quick and easy, especially if you have one of those shaker of milk, which I've just looked and we don't have any, which we usually have like three. Look at your pancake doing. Nice. So the chocolate ones will look and feel a bit chunky, but that's purely because of chocolate chips. You can't see the bubbles as much in these ones, um, purely because of the chocolate chips again. <laughs> but yeah, when this works properly, they do melt into it. So here's our first chocolate one. Can't really tell that there's chocolate chips in it at the moment, but. There is. <laughs> yeah, this one doesn't have the best consistency, but it tastes the best. Let's be real. And these chocolate ones are actually chocolate block of chalk. Chalk ones are chocolate block of chalk. <laughs> so these might be a little bit thicker than the other ones, but that's just because of the gold syrup in them. Alright, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready for the flip. It has been cooked, so I'm ready for it. Did you see that? <laughs> I used to be so good at it, but obviously I haven't done it for a long time. Alright, so this is the first golden syrup pancake. It's just slightly more golden naturally than the others. I'll put this on the test plate because I reckon I'll make a bigger one. That's the plan for today. Eat my body weight pancakes. Catch up on YouTube videos. And they go dance later. Ooh. This one had a bubble in it. <laughs> Let's try it. Alright, so here's our first plain pancake. There's the bubble right here. Alright, that's it for the cooking part. I'll move you back over here in a second and we will do the other stuff. Okay, here's our monster stack of pancakes. Looking good. And here is the little baby ones. So we've got the green one that we made, we've got the chocolate one, the golden syrup one and the plain one. Yeah, I'm excited to try these. Okay, so I have finished cooking all the pancakes. 
and I just cut the tester ones in half so you can see what they look like. So this is our green one, that's on the inside. This is our golden syrup one, just looks slightly darker. Our chocolate chip one, you can see all the chocolate in there, which is nice. And our plain one as well. So what I thought I'd do is show you some of the ways that I like these pancakes to be um, sourced, I guess. So I'll just move these pancakes over here for now. And I'll grab a plain one and I'll cut it in half because there is two that I want to show you. And I don't want to waste the whole of my pancake on one. There we go. Cut these in half. So the first one is golden syrup. I'm not going to show you this one because I already have golden syrup pancakes. <laughs> but the second one is jam. Um, so I like plum jam, but you can get any type of jam for this. So plum jam. As I was saying before, you can have any type of jam you feel like. So obviously, just spread this over one piece of pancake or one pancake. Like. Okay. Spread it all over the top, and then an Aussie way to eat these. I don't know if anybody else does these. Is actually roll them up and just shove it in your gut. Okay. All right. So the next one might seem weird to some people, but I've grown up with it in my house, and it is actually really nice. Then you got caster sugar, or just regular sugar, regular sugar is better, and lemon juice. So, for this one, you need a spoon, and you just spread the sugar all over your pancake. Like Grab your lemon juice, and just sprinkle it on, trying to kind of soak the sugar. Like anything, um, but I promise you, it does taste nice. That just reminds me of my childhood. It is our monstrosity of pancakes. So, yeah, so we've got the plain ones, we've got the chocolate ones, we've got the coloured ones, which are just basically the plain ones for coloured, and the orange syrup one. So, these are four different ways you can make your pancakes make them taste good and I showed you two different toppings as well you can also go with strawberries and cream if you have that you can go with like chocolate syrup or any type of syrup really you can do Nutella a lot of my friends just do tomato sauce or ketchup which is a little weird to me but yeah there you go there is your pancakes it for this video I am going to eat a crap ton of pancakes now <laughs> um, please like and subscribe uh, ring that bell as well it helps me it helps you you get my notifications and yeah I will see you next week with a new video bye